If you ever feel frustrated because you don't have a morning routine and you feel like your morning just runs away with itself, you never get time to do the things you really want to do in the morning, like meditate or read or just chill out with a cup of tea and having breakfast, then this video is for you. I'm going to share what my morning routine is and it's super simple and every single one of us can do it, so definitely stay tuned. Hey, it's Carrie here, founder of the Female Entrepreneur Association and author of the international best-selling book, She Means Business. And I am so excited to talk about this topic because I feel like so many entrepreneurs feel this way that I have felt so many times, which is in the morning you wake up, but you've got no one telling you what time you have to be at work at because you are your own boss. And while this is an amazing thing, it can also be a really tough thing to deal with when you're, it comes to your morning routine because no one is getting your bum out of bed. <laughs> um, so I know so many times I've woken up and I've either struggled to get out of bed or I've woken up like a headless chicken because I've got so much going on and I feel like the morning and then the day runs away with itself and I have no control over what's happening. It's just like straight into work and then I don't make time to do these things that I really want to do in the morning and give myself space to read and visualize and do all these other things I really want to do. So if you have felt the same way or you're feeling the same way, then the things I'm going to share are really going to help you. So the first thing I want to share when it comes to taking back control of your morning, and this applies if you really struggle to get up in the morning, get yourself out of bed. Okay, go and download this app. Um, it's a, an alarm clock, but this is a special alarm clock because to be able to turn the alarm clock off, you have to be able, you have to do a maths question. You have to answer a maths question. <laughs> don't know if, don't know about you, but this is blooming hard work for me, and so this forces my brain to wake up. So basically, your alarm goes off and you answer the maths question. So it helps you to like wake up, get out of bed. So that's the first tip if you struggle to wake up in the morning because you are your own boss. Okay, so the second thing is when, when you get up, it's to take control of your morning. So this means get intentional about it. When we have an, a, a morning routine that works for us, it can be such a powerful way to set up your day for success. So many successful entrepreneurs have a really powerful morning routine. So for example, for me, I got intentional about it and I got clear that I wanted to read my book for at least 30 minutes, if not an hour. I want to visualize for 10 to 20 minutes. I want to get outside and get some fresh air. I want to have time for a nice breakfast because so often I'm like headless chicken and I don't even get to eat. I really want to make sure that I have spent a few minutes going over my plan for the day so I know what are my goals for today, what are my tasks for today, what do I really need to get done. So often we just get so caught up being busy, busy, busy that we just jump straight into the day without any thought as to what we want to achieve that day. So by creating this morning plan for yourself, you get intentional and you take back control of your morning so that you can start your day on the right foot. So what do you want your mornings to look like? The best part is, is that when you get intentional about this and when you set times for, okay, so I'm gonna read for this long, it means that you can work backwards from that and then you know, okay, so if I'm gonna fit all this in in my morning, then I need to wake up at 6 a.m. So for example, for me, that's what I discovered. If I wanted to make time to read, to visualize, to have a really good breakfast, to have time to just chill out with a cup of tea, to get outside and get a bit of fresh air, to do all the things that I wanted to do, I knew I had to wake up at the latest by 6 a.m. so that I had time to fit this stuff in because I tried eight o'clock, I tried seven o'clock and I just couldn't do it, I couldn't fit it in. And obviously, you, your life might be different, you might have children to think, to, to think about, so maybe you have to wake up before they even wake up but get intentional about it and take back control. And once you do, your mornings become yours again. And it becomes amazing because you can get so focused on what it is that you wanna make happen. And you can make time to read and to meditate because you are intentional about it. So give yourself permission to create an amazing morning routine and it will be so transformational, I promise. So if you are up for doing this, then I have created a freebie where I have shared the ins and outs of my own morning routine for you to check out. So check it out and along with it, you'll find a planner for you to write out your morning routine to. So the link is for that is below. So definitely check it out, create an incredible morning routine, and then let me know in the comments how it changes your life. And I will see you in the next video. I don't know how to use my hands. Like, what? Stop doing this because that means like I don't know what I'm doing. Well, did you see like over here? Okay, good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Do it again. Over here, that that seems to be working really well. Yeah. Even though it's blank screen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Carrie, now you point.